you don't want to put too much into, you know, just one team or one game. But I think this is a team that has given us trouble, you know, in those first two games where we had a lead in both games or opportunity to, you know, kind of put them, put them away or extend the lead. And we didn't, you know, because they play fast. They got shooters. Um, you know, they're a handful to deal with out there. So I think, you know, it's, it was just a quality win for us. You know, I thought we started the game pretty solid. And uh, just how we played over the course of the game, I thought it was it was good. You know, it was some things we could have done better. Um, a couple of times we got surprised on the drive and our help wasn't there. You know, we love guys on the island a few times, um, gave up second and third opportunities, and they hurt us, you know, when those things happened. But once we tightened up in those areas, we was able to separate ourselves. And, um, you know, like any other game, we had our moments where we had some some letdowns and, you know, they had an opportunity to get on the run. But um, I thought it was a, a, a really solid game for us against a team that's, that's given us a lot of trouble. I think for a lot of things that I've accomplished, you know, since I've been in the league when it comes to records, I, you know, my mom would tell me, you know, my cousin, sometimes they'll tell me like I need to be happier. I need to appreciate it more. But I think that I just get so caught up in the next thing and moving forward that I don't appreciate it until like a year go by and I'll see like a list and I'll be on it and I'll be like, damn, like <laughs> I'm number three or, you know, I'm number two or this close to whatever it is. So um, this was no different. You know, I obviously I acknowledge it and it's a it's an honor to be in that group with so many great shooters. Um, but it's like I. As soon as I saw it, I was looking at like, all right, who's number four and how many am I behind them? Um, so that's just naturally my thought process until that moment comes that I appreciate it. And uh, leading up to it, I honestly didn't, I didn't know how close I was until last game. I was on the bench and one of the uh, team attendants behind it was like, you need two more. And I didn't know what he was talking about until today when he was like, all right, you got to hit two threes. And I didn't, like nobody said nothing to me about it. So. Um, today was when I, I actually knew I was that close to that record. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what was going on. Um, you know, I know that it was a it was a physical game. It was a lot of back and forth. A lot of stuff was happening out there. It was a lot of talk in the last game and this game. And it was just to me, it was just banter. You know, I would, it was a hard foul on Giannis that kind of turned it up a little bit. BP was turned up tonight and. After the game, I thought the game was over. You know, I was <clears throat> staying close to half court so I could kind of have a pulse on like what they were saying because I knew they bench was mad. And I was kind of like in the middle because I wanted to just be aware of like where people was at because I knew it was heated. And, um, you know, they they took the, the game ball. And, you know, it, that type of stuff happens in the NBA, you know, when people get offended by how it how it happened. You know, maybe they felt like he should have been out of the game and, you know, he was trying to get points or whatever. So they did something like that. They took the ball and said our rookie scored his first his first NBA points when it's like, you know, this dude just scored sixty. You know what I mean? So but that's part of the league. You know, that's the the gamesmanship. That's the the pettiness. Um it happens. So um I didn't think it was that deep, but it just turned into a a lot of commotion and a lot of stuff, so everybody's safe. So I guess that's, that's the positive, man. Nobody got hurt.